Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you Windows 10 technical preview. So, this is Microsoft's latest Windows 10 beta release and it's released to the public for free. All you need to do is sign up for the Microsoft Insider program and you can get it. I'm running the 64-bit version on VMware Fusion and it runs very smooth. So, the login screen is mostly the interface is equal to Windows 8's Metro, so I'm just going to put it in. Now, this is Windows Technical Preview, build 9841. So, this is a beta build, and I'm just going to go check, see how long it takes till it expires. It expires on the 16th of April 2015 at 10 o'clock. So, it will expire next year on April. Now, no mind about the evaluation and whatever, let's talk about the new changes they made to the system. One main change is the start menu. In Windows 8 and Windows 8.1, it was all Metro when you clicked on it. So now, they've decided to make a compromise. Windows 7's start menu sort of, the design is put back and then we have all the Metro apps on the other side. You can also pin Metro apps to the taskbar now. And you can also unpin them from start. And you can also personalize the color. So in this case, my favorite color, I'm just going to make it orange. And it also changes the windows. And I'm just going to keep it with, like that. And when you click on it, you also get all apps. So it shows all the Metro apps, such as Alarms Calculator. And Metro apps can be now run in a window. Not full screen, a window as well. But in this case, by now, it's only window. Yeah, you can also do full screen. So let's do... So Calculator works fine. And most of the Metro apps are, once again, they're all in Windows. Let's try out the maps. So, users Bing Maps, I'm not letting them allow my directions, so stalkers aren't going to come and attack me. So, let's magnify on Sydney. Magnify and enhance in Sydney City CVD and we got all of the streets and locations such as train stations, wharfs, rails, freeways, motorways, streets, roads, avenues, etc. etc. on Bing Maps. It almost looks identical to Nokia Maps, but it's still good. You can search and get directions, so let's try out... No, I'm not going to do it. So that's Maps for you. And I'm just going to open a few windows by now. So we got five windows open, and there's this new, new utility called Task View. So you click on it, and you get to choose from one. Where you use your keyboard or mouse, you can choose which one you want. And then it, you can sort of access task view by just doing alt tab. So never mind about this news. Now they're bringing, and there's also another change. And for programmers, this is a massive change on command prompt. So let's try out command prompt, CMD. One difference is that the font is no longer rasterized, so it's no longer one of those old DOS fonts that you see. And I'm just going to type in something. I'm going to con copy it, and then if you press Control V, it actually copies it into the command. So Command prompt is now moving into the 21st century. So just like that. And it 
command prompt also retains in old stuff like changing the color of clearing so most of that hasn't been changed and the font that they now use is consulus but you can always change it back to rasterized you can always change it back I don't see why but I'm just going to do it anyway and then we also have other apps such as in the accessories you get everything but command prompt has been moved to what's called Windows system so control panel command prompt default program devices etc but there's also another small flaw that I want to point out for some reason they should have put the control panels and all the other stuff here like I don't mean change it back to Windows 7 going back to 2009 but I mean add certain in ordinary apps into the Metro interface but if you if you want to you can always change it from Metro fully Metro or you can build the bridge between two so if you click on on your username it doesn't take you to your home folder in it instead says it is just like in Windows 8 and 8.1 change account picture lock sign out and if you press the power button you get three options sleep shut down restart or if you have modified it hibernate and there's also another diff change as well on the right hand corner in Windows 8 and 8.1 there used to be a bar that's gone over here we got search and let's type in something. I want to see if internet things work. So I'm just going to search up iOS 8. Seems like it doesn't work. So what exactly this is? It's like a search engine. Like Apple Spotlight. So now they've added this in. Let's try it again. If, it do, if I don't get a response within 5 seconds, I'm not doing it. It actually works. So you can search anything up, whether it's internet or offline. And we also, in the PC settings, <clears throat> that's also no longer full screen. But you still need to have a certain display rate for it to work. So I can personalize personalize the home screen I'm just going to change it to scan is it called the Scandinavians yeah it is or a piano play a slideshow on the lock screen yes you can use pictures from whatever you can also add lock screen apps so they can display whatever you can customize your display here and you can also whoops you can also customize it in the control panel so I'm just going to go into control panel for a moment. You, everything's normal as 8.1. So they haven't changed anything here yet. All they have is a few new themes. Windows, lines and colors, flowers. I'll, I like the lines and colors for now. Um, let's see if they have new screen savers. No, they don't. But I like the bubbles one the most. What else haven't we explored yet in technical preview? Well, there's also another thing. Metro apps can also be run from one side to another. So I have Windows Store, that's one program. And then we got the news pro program, which is another. So, you can run them side by side. So, that's a new unique feature. And we also have, let's see what else we have in Windows 10. Since we have the Windows 10 on tablets, computers, laptops, desktops, etc. It's going to be 
a very good for depending on what kind of interface you want. So whether you want Metro, Metro only, then you do Metro only. If you want to do a compromise, then just the start menu, you don't, you don't have to do anything. So the start menu is fine. And if you want to just do Windows, the old Windows 7 start bar only, you probably can too. So, there's also another thing, thing. Let's check out Internet Explorer and see if this. So it opens just like an arrow. So it's working normally. And don't miss out, set default browser. And let's try this. So once again, the home, home search engines Bing, of course. They never set it to Google. It's always Bing. And so that's about Internet Explorer. Now let's try out the Windows Explorer. So now you've got the desktop, which would show everything. And we've got a new icon for this PC, although it doesn't say. So I'm just going to drag it in. Network. Contr control panel. Home group. And the C drive. And don't forget my name too. So your main folder is now called Home. And that will show desktop videos, all your folders. And that's about it. I don't see anything else. What about Snap Assist? So it's probably, I haven't experienced that feature yet, but I might do it soon. So these are new, all new features in Windows 10 Technical Preview. Once again, may I remind you that this is not the full version and there will be many differences with it. So please do not say this will be the full version. This is only a beta. Uh, that's why it's called technical preview. In a few months, consumer preview should be out and ready to download. So if any of you want to download it, it would be on Microsoft's website. I will give you the link below to download Technical Preview at your own risk. Installation in should be done using a USB 8 gigabytes or more. And there's also another thing too in installing Technical Preview. It has a time bomb that will go off on the 15th of April 2015. After that date passes, it will initiate a shutdown sequence, which will, once you turn on your computer, after two hours, your computer will just blue screen and because your time's up. So that's their fail safe they put in. So once it expires, you only get two hours, then it restarts and the cycle goes on and on again. So there you have it. Microsoft Windows 10 Technical Preview. My name is, as you know, Martin Noble. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments on Windows 10 or Microsoft, please leave it below. Thank you for w watching and see you guys in my next video.